Hello guys and welcome back to Disney Elves. Now, I know that I haven't done consistent uploading in a while, but I am getting back into that. But first of all, I feel like I have some explaining to do about what's been going on, what's happening, what's going on with my Disney wedding and things like that. So I hope you enjoy this little update video. I will try and answer all of your questions. I've got things in my head that I would probably ask someone if I was watching this video. So I'm gonna try and answer all those questions. So here we go. So as you guys know, there is obviously a virus. Where I am in the UK, we are currently on lockdown. Um, so we're not allowed to go out unless it's a necessary thing and stuff like that. So what's been happening to me, you ask? I was made redundant from my job. This was before the government announced that. Basically in the UK, we are going to be able to get 80% of our wage packet as a sort of like grant from the government. So our employers, when they're not open, aren't making money, won't have to fork out the money to keep their employees. I hope that makes enough sense. But I was made redundant before the government came out with that lovely scheme. So I'm not really sure what's happening from that point of view. I have applied for other jobs um, and we'll just have to see what happens. Um, I think everyone is sort of hitting pause on everything at the moment. Obviously it's a bit scary. Like I know a question that I probably ask in this situation is like, are you okay? Like how are you feeling about money and stuff like that? The good thing is I had enough paycheck saved up to cover my bills for the next few months anyway. I'm hoping by the time that that's over, it may have all just naturally sorted itself out. So that's the first thing. And I don't know, I'm sort of just worrying about that when it gets there. I think everyone's in the same boat and that is the good thing in this situation. Yeah, that's basically that. So I have no job at the moment. Also, I've had to cancel my wedding. As you guys know, my wedding was meant to be in June and I had a big Disney wedding planned. Um, around 140 guests. Um, I had booked the place, I had decided what we were going to eat and basically organised everything. I had made centrepieces as well, Disney centrepieces, decided what I was going to wear and everything. Um, so now we're being told the only way that we can possibly get married on that date and the reason the date is important to me is because it's my mum and dad's anniversary. So I really wanted to get married on the day that they got married, but in 2020, because I just feel like 2020 sounds cool, right? Like, yeah, I got married in 2020. Quite easy to remember too. Um, <laughs> I can still get married on that date, but it would only be with two witnesses, which would be my mum and my dad. But what about my sister? What about my aunties? What about my nans? So I'm not really sure what's going on yet. I'm kind of hoping that they will up the capacity if the situation gets better, but it's not looking hopeful at the moment because every news story that you read on weddings in June, it says you're not having a wedding in June. Like, no. So uh, that's a bit worrying, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. I don't want this to come across as a moan in any way. I'm literally just updating you. I'm fine. I'm just so happy that we are all healthy. No one in my family has it that, that we know of. Obviously, like, there's an incubation period and stuff like that, but, like, we're all good, you know? And that's all I care about. And I don't want to bring people together and be selfish just because I'm getting married. Like, who cares? Like, we can video chat it. We can film it. They can watch it later. Like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's fine. There are bigger things in life at the moment, you know? Are you going to do it? Are you going to go ahead with it? What are you going to do now? The answer, I just don't know, because we don't know how long this is going to go on for, which almost makes the situation worse. I think we'll probably end up getting married in June, just us and my parents. Basically, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I think I'll probably end up doing a big party, but it won't necessarily be your standard sit down wedding meal kind of affair. Like, <clears throat> I just don't think it'll be that kind of thing anymore, which is fine because I'll still make it literally an incredible party. Like, imagine how good the party is gonna be when we're all let out of this. It's just important to focus on the future and seeing what's gonna happen next. And hopefully not doing a wedding will mean I have more money to go on a Disney holiday or something like that, you know? You never know. So, because we didn't pay for flowers or the food or anything like that, we, don't, we didn't pay for any of it yet. So, that's brilliant for us. <laughs> Other life updates. I got a ham tattoo. I can't remember if I've already shown you guys this. I think I briefly mentioned it in my um, last video, but... Yeah, I got a tattoo of Ham because he is my absolute favourite. I completely love him. I think I'm also going to get a tattoo of Isabel from Animal Crossing, maybe on the back part there, and just have this arm as a sort of tattoo arm. But I don't know. 
just, I'm not saying like a sleeve, but like just the arm that has tattoos on, you know? Another update, myself and Nikon are releasing a new EP. Only look back if it drives you on. This is the cover. The chameleon on the front and all of the design and everything was done by Lorna, Lorna's Enchanted Castle on Instagram. Some of you guys may know her. Um, love it. It's going really well so far. So. It's called Only Look Back If Drives You One. There are four songs on it. Um, I'm so, so proud of this. Literally so proud. It comes out on the 24th of April, but you can pre-order it right now on the iTunes store. So you go to the iTunes store on your phone, type in Ellie and Nick on. You'll see we've done an EP before called Devil's Game. Feel free to buy that too. But please, if you can spare £3.16 and you have an iPhone, go and pre-order Only Look Back If Drives You One. It's really really important to me um we got to number five in the pre-order chart on itunes which is amazing we were briefly above lady gaga and people like that we were featured in the top spot on the singer songwriter pre-orders and things like that so it's going really well so far fingers crossed don't want to jinx anything touch wood quick comes out on the 24th of april and if you do fancy buying it it really does help me it's just really nice that people are supporting our music and i really really appreciate it that is basically my life so because of corona i lost my job i've lost my wedding i refuse to not do music that's really important so yeah i think that's everything um that's a little bit of a life update i am going to be doing lots of content for you i'm also over on tiktok now like am i cool enough for tiktok am i young enough who knows but i did make a really cool outfits video that i'm really really proud of so i'm gonna do a lot more of those and that type of content disney disney content guys obviously what other kind of content would it be head over to my tiktok head over to the itunes store and pre-order only at back of drives you on and i will be seeing you every single week now i promise at least for the next few weeks <laughs> um as much as i can yeah i hope you enjoy my disney content feel free to leave a comment down below if there are any videos that you specifically really really want to see from me and that's everything so thank you so much for paying attention guys i will be back at 6 p.m every friday obviously i'm over on instagram and everything too disney owls disney owls ali and nikon follow them both if you want because it helps thank you so much Goodbye guys, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all literally clean, I hope you're <laughs> washing your hands, I hope that you're all fine, so, see you later! I'm sorry that it took some time, but I'm ready to